Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 18. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about single page template for post as well as we will see about 404 page template. So first of all, we need to understand that is what is single page template. If we go to browser, now here inside last videos, we had discussed to answer all the latest posts inside our page. Now inside each of the posts, here we have a read more button. So as we know that if we click on this read more button, it is going inside this index.php. Now let's go ahead and fix this featured image inside this page first. So copy this code, open about index.php, pasting it here. So what I will do, if we copy this, and let's say that php echo and this dynamic value save this change reload this page and we are getting called index.php so right now we have clicked on other post also when we click on this hello world we are getting the featured image of hello world now let's say that as we know that this is the default fallback file of every pages if we go inside this template hierarchy, as we know from this image, index.php is the callback means default fallback file for all the templates. Now here, as we can see that single.php, if suppose in our WordPress, we have multiple custom post type. So according to custom post type, we can create our own templates, something with the name of single hyphen post type dot php let's say that in our post we have a custom post type with the name of colleges so simply we can write about the single page template for those custom post type equal to single hyphen colleges dot php but right now inside our wordpress setup where we are working there is no custom post type here we have either pages or post so we are going to read this single.php. Inside this single.php, when we click on any of the post, what we have inside this front end, when we click on that, so for every single post, it is going to render all the content inside single.php file. What I mean, if I back to editor, press Ctrl B, what I will do if I make a file with the name of single.php, and inside this file, if I copy all the contents, go and paste inside this single.php. Now this time, we are getting all the contents inside this. And also, while hitting on any of the read more buttons of any of the post, it will go and search for single.php first. If the file will not exist, then it is going to render all the content inside index.php. But this time, we have single.php file. So if I click on read more button, now here, as we can see the template, currently it is using called single.php. So inside single.php, we don't want this read more button because read more is for getting all the contents inside a single page. So what I will do, I need to remove all about read more button. So here, this is all about the read more button. So simply get rid of this anchor tag from here, save these changes, reload this page. And inside this single.php page, we have no read more button, only about the post feature image, post title, and all about its description. Again, go back to a home.php and inside this we have setting of read more if we click on this hello world post and here we are getting all about featured image post title and post like contents so this is all about the concept of single.php the name itself clears that single.php it means that it is going to render the single content so here we are rendering all about single post. Now let's understand about 404. So right now, as we know that inside this 
template what we have made as a custom inside this we don't have any file called 404 so if we go to our front end and let's say that if we click on this about page so right now we are on the about page and this is the content of about us page and also this is using page.php so we can remove all about read more button from this page as well so go inside this page.php press ctrl b and inside this we can remove this anchor tag from here save these changes go here reload this page and this is all about about us page and also we can remove this featured image from here because we are not using any featured image concept inside pages now right now we have only about the title content save these changes reload this page this is all about the page title and page content now let's see that as we know that this is our valid url to load about page but when we do any mistake here let's say about hyphen us as we know that this url does not exist pressing enter we have some error and something error which is not displaying any content inside this so right now as we know that our default fallback file is something index.php but as we know that this is the slug like page slug which does not exist in our wordpress database so that's why it is not rendering any page we are getting behind the scene 404 error because for this route for this url we don't have any page so how can we handle all about this 404 if we go inside this template hierarchy as we know that if we are getting any error related with 404 it is going to call a file something called 404.php if this file does not exist then it is going to call all about index.php now we are going to make our 404.php file inside our custom theme so we are not going to create any folder instead we need to create a file something with the name of 404 which is a status code http status code which represents file not found dot php inside this if we go again here as we know that this this is invalid url reload this page and behind the scene we are not getting any content because it is going to use 404.php file so how can i fix this issue simply copy all the contents from this index.php pasting inside this 404.php and simply let's say that if we have any post so we are going inside this if block otherwise we will have our else block and simply let's say echo within this s3 tag simply let's say file forward slash route not found if we save this change back to browser and here this is the error of not getting that file reload this page and this time we are getting that is file forward slash route not found so this page automatically will get fired when we have the status code of 404 what i will do i am going to copy this code like s3 go at the top remove this all codes from here as well as we don't want any sidebar inside this page simply write this code so if we save this change go here and this is file not found error again if we click on this about and as we know that this is a valid url so behind the scene it is going to use called page.php let's say that this is for the services and here if i misspelled with let's say services 100 this is not a valid url and as we are getting file route not found and inside this template we are using the file called 404.php so successfully guys inside this video we understood about single page template for post as well as 404 page template so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day